I just asked her to check into flowers and keep it simple. With her track record, I, sh I should have known better. Look, she means well, Castle. She just wants to be a part of this. So let's find something for her to do, some kind of a wedding project. Yes, you're right, but something she can't turn into an over-the-top disaster. I'll keep thinking. Yeah, me too. Yo, so this building was set to be demolished. That is until the salvage crew stripping the place came across his body. Buried under concrete, no less. You got a cause of death? Not till I do a full exam, but he's probably been here since they poured the concrete back in 1978. The dead man from the Carter administration entombed in cement. I am intrigued. Anything else you can tell us about the victim? He was maybe early 30s and a sharp dresser. Check out that powder blue suit. Yeah, it's straight from the disco era. And a testament to the truly indestructible nature of polyester. We'll check out who owned the building back in 78 and who owns it now. We'll also pull permits to see if we can track down who poured this concrete. I know who the victim is. What? A man in his 30s with a penchant for pinky rings and Panerai watches who mysteriously vanished in 1978. Come on! Vince Bianchi. Head of the Bianchi crime family. And one of the most powerful and feared mafia dons of his day until he disappeared, Jimmy Hoffa style. And for over three decades, he was right here. We just found Vince Bianchi. 